from the cotton fields to the mission fields. He had brought us to one pair of shoes, and now we got so many shoes, we can't wear them all. And I can't understand why we come into this place and can't give God praise. Amen. 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 The God that brought us from a shack, and now we're living in brick houses. That's an awesome God. We ought to give him praise this morning. And now I invite you to let go and let God. Let God have his way in this place. Ask that you just bow your heads with me as we go to the throne of grace. Eternal God, thank you. God, before we ask anything, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for shielding us and protecting us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for dying for us. God, we just thank you this morning for you an awesome God. And God, we can't thank you enough for all that you've done for us, for the many ways that you've made for us. Oh, God, for shedding your blood for us. God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, oh, God. We give you praise. Oh, God, we ask that you just have your way today. We invoke your presence into this place. God, that you'll do what you want to do. Oh, God, show up in a mighty way. Let your anointing fill this place. For we know it's your anointing that destroys every yoke. So, God, we just thank you this morning. We come in and we open our mouths and give you the fruit of our lips. God, thank, thank you. We lift our hands. In praise, oh God, for you are worthy, God. You alone are worthy. So, God, we say thank you now. Have your way in this place. Move from heart to heart and from breast to breast. Let your anointing flow through this place, oh God, that your name will be glorified. And when it's all said and done, you alone, God, shall receive the glory, the honor, and the praise. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen. Don't stop praising him, y'all. Don't stop praising. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. When praises go up, blessings come down. Amen. Ask that you're joining in with this choir. Amen. And I open the hymn this morning. Hymn number 61 and your hymns. 161. Okay. 161. My program has 161 and your hymns. Oh, for me, hymn of praise. Don't sing it as often as we used to. Amen. But it's still a song. Amen. That will bring joy and, and bring tears to our eyes. Amen. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Blind, but now I see. Let us sing together. Sin grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wreck like me. I was lost, but
imagine back in those days when they didn't have nothing else they could think of the words amazing grace how sweet the sound are we serving awesome God we ought to give him glory in this sanctuary hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you God hallelujah as we continue to worship this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, mm, yes, sir. Mm. As we continue to worship, Reverend Donald will come and share our scripture with us. And after our scripture, uh, Sister Denise Williams will come and lead us to the throne of grace. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it was grace that did it for me. God, I thank you. If it had not been for his grace, yes, Lord, I thank you. We do honor God this morning, his son Jesus Christ, the gift of his Holy Ghost. Amen. We want to pass it on this morning to our speaker, Reverend Mitchell, to each of you in your respective place. It's a sweet, sweet spirit in this building. And I just want to thank you. Let us stand and turn in our Bibles to 1 John, the third chapter. And we'll read 1 John chapter 3, verse 11 through 24. Oh, that thing. Thank you. And it reads, I'll be reading the King James Version. It says, For this is the message that you heard from the beginning that you should love one another. I got it. 
not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew, he slew him. Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. All right. Ye, we know that we have passed from death unto life, yeah. because we love the brethren. Mm -hmm. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Wow. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Uh -huh. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life uh -huh. abiding in him. Uh -huh. Here by perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, mm -hmm. and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Come on. But whoso have this world's goods, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from Come him, Come on. how dwelleth the love of God in him? Mm -hmm. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Yes. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart uh -huh. and knoweth all things. Yeah. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Yes, sir. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and love one another as he gave us commandment. Yes, May God have a blessing to the readers and doers of his word. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, giving honor to God, Pastor Worley, Bless Minister you. Mitchell, all ministers in the building. I thank God for being here on this morning. Amen. And um, before I, you know, go to God in prayer, you know, I, I pray and ask that God forgive me of all my sins, forgive us of all of our sins. And um, last night, well, yesterday, there's a song that God has put on my heart last night. I went to speak, sing the song this morning. Pastor did the opening, he began to talk about, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Uh -huh. And I, I just would like to sing a little bit of this song before I go to God in prayer. Lord, I just want to say thank you. Lord, I just want to say thank you.
It's just my prayer. I just want to say thank you, God. Amen, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Glory. Mm. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh on us. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh on us. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Mm. He's worthy of. Mm. Mm. As we continue to worship this morning, we're going to ask this choir to come on and give us a selection. Well, I've got another, yes, Lord, in my soul. I've got another, yes, Lord, in my soul. I've got another. Yes, Lord. Got another hallelujah. In my soul. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, in my soul. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, in the morning, yes, Lord, yes, in the noonday, yes, in the midnight, yes, in the midnight. Yes, in the midnight. Yes, in the good time. Yes, in the bad time. Yes, in the bad time. Yes, the yes, Lord. Yes, the Lord. You've been so good. You've been so kind. Yes, the Lord. Yes, the Lord. So I got another. Yes, Lord. I've got another. Yes, Lord. In my soul. Got another, yes, Lord. In my soul. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In my soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so kind. Yes, yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yes, in the morning. Yes, in the noonday. Yes, in the midnight. Yes, in the midnight. Yes, in the good time. 
Yes, in the good time. Yes, in the bad time. Yes, in the bad time. Yes, in the bad time. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so good. You've been so good. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Still got another, yes, Lord, in my soul. I've got another, yes, Lord, in my soul. I've got another, yes, Lord, in my soul. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, in my soul. <laughs> oh, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. God is all right. Amen. Amen. He is all right. Amen. Amen. Certainly, we thank God for the spirit of Christ that rests in this place. Amen. And I, I pray that you feel free. Amen. To give God praise. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible declares where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So very much. Amen. Uh, just want to share a few things before we move on to. And I want to get out of the way of this preacher. Amen. Amen. So that God can have his way in here. Amen. Uh, but uh, in the way of Pastor's brief, uh, first of all, I want to thank God for you all. I want to thank you on behalf of my sister Virginia and, and our family for your support and your prayers. Amen. On yesterday, I want to thank you to say thank you to the kitchen ministry, to, to the kitchen staff. Amen. For uh, you providing uh, food for us. Uh, and we want to uh, ask that you continue to uh, pray for us. Amen. Uh, because the weaving didn't stop yesterday. Amen. It, it, it'll, be, it'll be for a while. Amen. But we ask that you pray that God will continue to grant us strength. Amen. To lean on him. Amen. Because he's able to hold us up. Amen. So again, we just want to give you a hearty felt and a hearty felt thank you yes. so very much amen amen uh also want to uh remind all of you that are planning on going uh with us to dc in may to uh to uh, share with uh pastor massenberg and the uh her church family amen uh we ask that uh you go ahead and uh, get your name down. Now, let me say this. We got four spaces left. Is it 55? 56. Okay, we got five spaces left. After those five spaces is filled, that's it. That's why we wanted you to get in first come first. We wanted you to get in as early as possible. There's 56 spaces, 51 has already been allotted for. Amen. Amen. So uh, uh, we're going to be closing it out when Sister better get 56. She's going to start saying there ain't no more room. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, Y'all remember the, uh, the wise and the foolish virgins? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Those that had all... <laughs> <laughs> they went out to meet him. Amen. Well, after she get the next five, that's it. Amen. Amen. And we pray that uh, if you have a desire to go, that you did get your name down. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are hoping to go and uh, fellowship and have a good time. Amen. In the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, as we continue to observe our Black History Month, uh, we look back over our lives and and, and God has been uh, good to us. Amen. amen, amen. We as a people, if nobody else, praise it. We ought to praise it. Amen, amen, amen. 
we have not always been able to uh, sit in sit-ins like this. Uh, our four parents, they couldn't sit in sit-ins like this. They, they had to steal away. Yeah. Amen. And find a place just to praise our God. Yeah. Amen. But they did it. Amen. And I believe that's why we're here today. Amen. Amen. I uh, want to say a few things, share a few things in our black history as the uh, uh, male choir is going to come and present our black history moment. But on this day in black history, in 1865, the first black was able to speak at the Capitol. His name was Henry Hallam Garnett. He was the first black on this very day, February 12th, to speak at the Capitol. It was on this day that the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, was found in 1909. There have been a lot done for our advancement. Amen to make sure that we get treated as others are treated. Amen. It was on this day in 1962, down in Macon, Georgia, that the bus boycott was started. It started against the Bibb Transit Company. Amen, where four black men went out and sit in the front of the bus Amen. And refused to go to the back. Amen. That was started on this day in 1962. So when we look back over our lives, amen, God has been gracious. So we can understand why when they sing Amazing Grace, they say, through many dangerous toils and snares, we have already come. But it was grace that brought us safe this forth. And grace is going to lead us on. Yes. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. So we ought to be proud of who we are. Yes. Because through our trials, we learn how to endure. Yes. Through our trials, we learn how to hold on, how to keep the faith, and how to trust in God. Yes. Amen. So we encourage you today to continue to stay with the Lord. And that God will be our God and that we will be his people. God bless you on this morning and may heaven smile upon you. The mail course is coming now to present to us a black history moment. It's good to see all of you. And we pray that God will keep you in his care. Announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. Since the 1890s, black communities celebrated the birthdays of two people considered to have a big impact on black history in the United States. Abraham Lincoln, February 12th. The American president that issued a preliminary emancipation proclamation that declared all enslaved people to be forever free in 1863 and Frederick Douglass, February 14th. After escaping slavery, he became a national leader of the abolitionist movement to end slavery and famous for his anti-slavery writing. In 1915, Woodson traveled to Washington, D.C. to participate in a national celebration of the nationwide emancipation. He was inspired by experiences from his trip to create an organization to promote the study of black life and history. Soon after, he helped to form what is now known as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. This association in 1926 sponsored a National Negro History Week. 
choosing the second week of February to coincide with Lincoln and Douglas's birthday. This inspired schools and communities nationwide to organize events to celebrate. The first Negro History Week was met with a lukewarm response, gaining the cooperation of the Department of Education of the states of North Carolina, Delaware, and West Virginia, as well as the city school administrations of Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Woodson felt that at least one week would allow for the general movement to become something annually celebrated. He realized the subject needed to resonate with a greater audience. Woodson contended that the teaching of black history was essential to ensure the physical and intellectual survival of the race. If a race has no history, it has no worthwhile tradition. It becomes an unimportant factor in the world and it stands in danger of being exterminated. By 1929, with only two exceptions, officials with the State Departments of Education of every state with a considerable black population made the event known to their teachers and distributed official literature. Churches also played a significant role in the distribution of literature, with the black press aiding in the publicity of Throughout the 1930s, Negro History Week countered the growing myth of the lost cause of the Confederacy, that blacks were better off under slavery. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions, which is wrong in his book, The Miseducation of the Negro. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place and he will stay with you. Throughout the following decades, Negro History Week grew in popularity, with mayors across the United States endorsing it as a holiday. Black History Month was first proposed by black educators and the black United States student at Kent State University February 1969. The first celebration of Black History Month took place at Kent State one year later, from January 2nd to February 28th in 1970. By 1976, Black History Month was being celebrated all across the country when President Gerald Ford recognized the month during the celebration of the United States Bicentennial. He urged Americans to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Black History Month is observed in the United States and Canada in February. Ireland, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom celebrate in October. On February 22nd, 2016, a 106-year-old Washington, D.C. resident and school volunteer, Virginia McLaurin, visited the White House as part of Black History Month. When asked by President Obama why she was there, McLaurin said, Amen. So when you look at us as a people, we have a rich history. Amen. And that need to be taught to our children. Amen. Because so many times in this day and time, you ain't going to find much of this in the history book. Amen. 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 But the blacks have contributed a lot to the welfare of our economy and to this world. Amen. Amen. And then if you look around now, even now in this day and time, when you go out and you go to shopping centers, you go to food places or whatever, the most people that you see in there is us. So we're still pushing the economy. Amen. 
Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Mayor Coach. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to get ready to get into the Word of God. Is everybody ready for the Word? Amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand for the Word. Amen. 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 This morning, we have a very capable preacher. Amen. Uh, she loves preaching the Word. Amen. She loves God. Amen. Uh, she don't mind preaching. Uh, she can preach, and will preach. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're so proud to have to come and give a word to us today, uh, none other than the Reverend Shimona Mitchell. Amen. We ask that you receive her today as a child of God Amen. for her grace and her ability. Amen. Amen. She is uh, one of us. Uh, she's married. To Deacon Donna Mitchell, uh, chairman of our Deacon Board, and uh, they have uh, four children. They have four children, Isaiah being one of them, Amen. Kaylee being the other, Amen. Junior being the other, and now they have a fortified doctor, Amen, uh, and uh, their. Uh, uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Lexus. Amen. Amen. She went to the board. Amen. She went to the board and didn't have no problem. Amen. Amen. The Lord was on her side. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for them and thank God for you. So we ask that you receive her this morning as she come to break the bread of life. Amen. And I pray this morning that if you brought your spoons and your knives and your forks, amen, that you be ready to eat of this word. Amen. And if it get a little too big to go down, just take it and chop it up. Amen. Because you need to eat it and eat all of it. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The choir is getting ready to sing. And after the choir finish singing. The next voice that you will hear will be none other than our very own Reverend Shimona Mitchell. Receive her. Amen. Jesus is walking with me. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Y'all know what he did. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Every day, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let me say this. So many times. I didn't have a dime. I told nobody, nobody but the Lord. Said he heard my plea. He came to see about me. I'm talking about Jesus. Good God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Murphy's baby. Oh, Jesus, let me say it again. I said so many times, I didn't have a dime. I told nobody, nobody but the Lord. Said he heard my plea, he came to see about me. I'm talking about Jesus, he's with me. Oh, Jesus, my God is with me. I ain't going to let nobody tell me no different. Cause I know that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is with me. Oh, Jesus, my God is with me. Let me say this: problems in your life, you can't sleep at night. Just call. Good God, I feel all right. I said you can call him in the midnight hour. Call on Jesus. When your friends are free, 
call on Jesus. He is a burden barrier, a heavy load carrier. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Says when you're sick, can't call no doctor. You go on your knees and call on Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. I feel all right right now. I feel all right right now. Now, Jesus, I got to call Jesus. See, Mama told me there's no other name but the name of Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. He'll make it all right. Won't he make it all right? Won't he make it all right? Whoa, Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Mervis, baby. Master Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Rock of ages. Care for me. Let me hide myself in deep. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. The lily of the valley. The bright and morning star. The great I am. Whoa, Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Murphy's baby. Master Jesus. The great I am. Whoa, Jesus. I got to call 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 Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. I got to call Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Master Jesus. I got to call Jesus. Murphy, baby. Got to call Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Y'all know what he did. Whoa, he. Jesus. Jesus is walking with me. I believe he's walking with someone else up in here too. And I'm so glad Jesus is walking with us. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? Amen. I'm glad that Jesus is walking with me. Amen. Thank God for being in the house of prayer one more time. Thank God for God who is the head of my life. Don't have a mind to turn back now. I came too far and I realized that it's a goal that I need to go to and eternal life is my goal. Amen. Thank God for my pastor, Pastor Worley. Amen to First Lady Worley. Amen to everyone in their respective places, all the ministers and the deacons and trustees, and everybody is somebody. 
Amen. Thank God for my children and thank God for my spouse, my greatest supporter and my worst critic. But he can talk about me. And, and y'all can too, but just don't let me hear about it. So I thank God for you, you and you. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father, it is in your son that we come this morning. No other name, God, that we know. Father, we love you this morning. We praise you, God. We give you all the honor, glory, and the praise, God. We thank you, God, for the word, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask you to decrease me and increase yourself, God. Don't let me speak nothing, God, that you haven't gave me to speak. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask you to let something be said to help somebody along the way, God. Realizing, God, that you gave it to me first, so I know, God, that it is so in the name of Jesus, God. And somebody will be encouraged along the way, God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, be accepted in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I will be coming from Acts, the 27th chapter, starting at the 40, 41 verse. I'll be reading 41 through 44. And it reads as thus. And falling into a place where two seas met, they ran the ship aground. And the four parts stuck fast and remained unmovable, but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves. And the soldiers' counsel was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion willing to save Paul mm -hmm. kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. Mm -hmm. And the rest, some on boards mm -hmm. and some on broken pieces of the ship. Mm -hmm. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. Mm -hmm. And the rest, some on board, and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. Uh -huh. Amen. If I were used for a topic on today, we're going to talk about Paul just a little bit. But I want to just encourage somebody else on today. Because we all need encouragement. Amen. Even myself, I need encouragement. Amen. Surviving the storm on broken pieces. All right. All right. And the all right. subtopic would be, it's not over until God says all it's right. over. Amen. Come on, preacher. Surviving the storm on broken pieces. Then my subtopic would be, it's not over until God says it's over. Come on. Come on. Just a little introduction of Acts 27. We have the Apostle Paul, who was a prisoner on his way to Rome. He was en route to appeal his death sentence to Caesar. Every Roman citizen had that right, although it could take years to get an audience with Caesar. The journey by sea was treacherous at any time of the year, but this trip had been delayed to the most dangerous time of the year. Paul advised the crew not to set sail at all, predicting there would be trouble. Uh -huh. He was ignored, and they set sail for the dangerous trip to Italy. Soon after, a violent storm, soon after, a violent storm proved Paul right. The storm raged for days, and the ship was adrift on the rolling sea 
until they saw an unknown island. He was the challenge. And if they steered it to the island correctly, they would be spared. If not, the ship would be destroyed and they would be far into the sea to survive. The crew noticed on the final morning that there was a bay with a beach on the island and they planned to run the ship ashore on this beach. In trying to maneuver, they struck a reef. The ship ran aground and the stem and many other parts of the ship were violently shattered into hundreds of pieces. There were other prisoners on board as well as the passengers. The soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners so that none would swim away and escape. The satirian, satirian, excuse me, wishing to save Paul because they had developed a personal connection order, those who could swim to abandon the ship and make their way to shore first. He then told those who could not swim to grab pieces of the wrecked ship and use them to float to shore. 267 individuals reached shore safely. Some made it on their own power, and some made it by clinging to pieces of the destroyed ship. Nevertheless, they all came to safety. Uh And I just want to encourage you just for a few minutes. I'm not going to be before you long, but however, thus say the Lord. I just want to talk about some shipwrecks in our life. We all go through some sort of shipwrecks in our life. Going about our daily living, and yeah, sometimes we're smooth sailing, and out of nowhere comes a storm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know storms can pop up anytime. They can just come, and the sun could be shining, anything could be going on in our life. If you stay with me in the natural, I'm going to take you with the spirit. We could just be going on, we can be smooth sailing. But no one is exempt from the storm of life. Amen. It is apparent in scripture that Christians will experience trials and tribulations yeah. in our lives. First Peter 4, 12 through 14. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. Uh-huh. But rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Uh-huh. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed for the spirit of glory and God rests on you. If you haven't had any rain in your life, just wait a while. One of the most difficult parts of the Christian life is the fact that becoming a disciple of Christ does not make us immune to life's trials and tribulations. Why would such a good and loving God allow us to go through such thing as sickness or death of a loved one or financial difficulties or worration and stress, fear, and the list goes on and on. Uh If God loved us, he wouldn't allow us to go through. That doesn't mean that he wants our lives. That doesn't mean that he does not love us. But I have to let you know that your life is not going to be a bed of roses. No, it doesn't. The Bible teaches us that God loves those who are his children and he works all things together for our good. That's Romans 8 and 28. Mm -hmm. So that means the trials and tribulations he allows in our lives are working together for our good. good. And just remember, our trials and tribulations must have a divine purpose, and that is eternal life with Christ. God's ultimate purpose for us is to grow more and more into the image of his son. Romans 8 and 29, the goal of Christians in everything in life, including trials and tribulations, is designed to reach our goal. It is a part of sanctification, being set apart for God's purpose. 1 Peter 1, 6 through 7, in this you greatly rejoice, even, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials, that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold, which perishes even though tested by fire, may be found and result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh Trials develop godly character, and that enables us to rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, Uh perseverance, character, and character, hope. Uh 
Hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. That's Romans 5, 3 and 5, 3 through 5. Jesus Christ was still, Jesus Christ is and still is the perfect example. God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, died for us, yes. Romans 5 and 8. Yes. And just remember, perseverance proves our faith. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Trials and tribulations come with both a purpose and a reward. Yes. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Yes. And let endurance have its perfect result, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Blessed is the man who, who perseveres under trial, uh -huh. and for once he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life. Yes which the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 1, 2 and 4 and 12. Know that, the, know that through all life's trials and tribulations, we have the victory. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Although we are in a spiritual battle, Satan has no authority over the believer in Christ. God has given us his word to guide us and lead us and his Holy Spirit to have full accessibility to him at all times. Uh -huh. I hope you understand, my brothers and sisters, as long as we are claiming to be born again believers, we are going through some trials and tribulations. Amen. But every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Uh -huh. And if you would just indulge me just for a little while longer, if you hold on and hold out, the songwriter said it best, I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Uh -huh. First new light, I promise. I ain't gonna be before you long. Clap your hands right there and give God some praise. I just want to encourage you that no matter what kind of storm you that may be raging in your life, uh -huh. just know that God will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31 8. In other words, God has your back. Yes. I don't care which way the winds may sway. I don't care the way the, the way the rain may pour. Uh -huh. The thunder may even roar and the lightning may flash. Uh -huh. And it looks like all oh, hope is gone. Uh -huh. The songwriter said you've been in a storm and it seems like forever. Uh -huh. And your nights of confusion has been, has been forever. And your nights of confusion has been too long. Uh -huh. Your ship has lost anchor, and the storm's got you drifting. Uh -huh. But just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Yeah. You're going to survive this storm even if you're holding on to some broken pieces. Uh -huh. Don't let go and trust in God even when you can't trace them. I'm going to come out of this storm alive. Maybe you're going through a storm of depression or, or oppression or maybe you're going through a storm of financial lack or maybe you're going through a divorce or a bad relationship. Maybe you're going through a storm of loneliness. Maybe you're going through a storm of sickness or disease. Maybe you've been shipwrecking, you're going through and you're just trying to fit in with somebody. Maybe you're just going through a storm of, of losing a loved one. Maybe you're going through a storm of peer pressure. Maybe you're going through a storm trying to identify who you are. Maybe you're going through a storm of, so, of low self-esteem. Maybe you're going through a storm of not knowing who your family really is. Maybe you're going through a storm of life of promiscuity. Maybe you're going through a storm of life of, of a loved one being locked up behind bars. Maybe you're facing a storm with that wayward child. Maybe you're facing a storm on your job. Maybe your children, is, are you going through a storm with your children even at school? Maybe you're going through a storm that I didn't leave a list in my sermon. Maybe you're going through whatever you're going through, but just know that God is able to carry you through. We are going through all together right now because even in, as a nation, COVID is still here alive and well. Yes. Racism is still here alive and well. We got some evilness and some bitterness, and we even got natural disasters going on, gun violence in all places, and the list goes 
on and on. But I can hear the Spirit of the Lord say, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. All I'm trying to tell you is God is still in control. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I promise you I'm about to take my seat. I promise you I'm about to take my seat. Because I know some of y'all got to go home to prepare your food for the Super Bowl. But just give me a little bit more time because that's all right. Y'all can watch the Super Bowl. But I just want to encourage you while I'm here just for a few more minutes. And then I will take my seat. I need to leave you with a few survival tips from Shimona Survival Class. At at First New Light Missionary Baptist Church. I'm under the leadership of Pastor Obi Worley Sr. And we're at 51 River Road, White Oak, North Carolina. And the time is about, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? I got a little bit more time. Okay. And the date is February the 12th, 2023. While you're going through your storm and you feel like you're drowning in a storm and you can't even swim, I encourage you to grab hold to some pieces. Just hold on to some pieces. Trust. And I want to tell you why you're holding on to pieces. Remember Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. But you got to hold on to Jesus. Yes, life is like it is, and sometimes you feel like you don't know which way to go in and what's going on. Because sometimes I feel like that right now. But I'm so glad that God told me to tell you, you're going to survive this storm. Great God. Almighty. Psalms 37, 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and I'll befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act on your behalf. Still holding on to the trust survivor. Jeremiah 29, 11 say, for I know the plans that I have for you. Declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. Joshua 1 and 9 say, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God has your back. Grab hold to the peace called faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 say, now faith is the confidence in which we have, we hope for and assured about what we do not see. Great God from on high. Just a few more minutes. First Corinthians 16 and 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in your faith. Be courageous and strong. Clap praise right there. Second Corinthians 5 and 7, sorry. for we live by faith and not by sight. Let's grab hold to that piece of that shipwreck of healing. Psalms 34 and 19 say, many of the righteous, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. God got your back. Hold on to that peace. Hold on to that peace of faith. Grab hold to that peace in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 53 and 5 say, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of his peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. So whatever the doctor told you, you are already healed. He took us to the cross long time ago and he had you and I in the mind because they knew what we had to go through in this life this storm of life great God almighty Psalms 34 and 4 I want to talk about some deliverance now I sought the Lord and he answered me he delivered me from all my fears Psalms 34 and 17 the righteous 
righteous cry out and the Lord hears them and he delivers them from all their trouble. Clap your hands and give God praise. Take God at his word. Trust God in the process. Don't lose your focus. Don't get distracted. You will survive this storm. What the enemy meant for your bad, it's going to turn all the way around for your good. It's working for your good. It's not over to God says it's over. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Hold on just a little while longer. Don't give up because help is the way. If God brings you to it, he gonna take you through it. Ride out the storm. Trouble don't last always. God is able to deliver you and keep you and heal you and set you free. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Trust God through your storm. God has it already worked out. It's not over to God there's a destination that you're on your way to and it's called eternal life Isaiah 26 3 and 4 say you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is your everlasting rock God I trust you to bring me out of this storm alive and well grab hold to some peace called grace even though it's not something that we deserve God is kind to us and wants the best for our lives grace is God's unmerited unlearned favor Isaiah 40 and 31 say but those who hope in the Lord he will renew their strength they were soar on wings like eagle they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint grab hold to a peace called mercy Psalms 105 say for the Lord is good his love and kindness is everlasting and his faithfulness to all generations grab hold to some prayer Mark 11 and 24 say therefore I tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe it that you will receive it and it shall be yours yes. Psalms 1 6 Psalm, excuse me Psalm 16 and 1 say keep my safe keep me safe my God in you I take refuge Psalm 66 and 19 say but truly God has listened he has attended to the voice of my prayer uh-huh. I don't care what kind of shipwreck or storm you're facing First John 4 and 4 say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You are an overcomer. You are a survivor. Great God Almighty, you are the head and not the tail. You're going to be the lender and not the bar. You're going to be above and you ain't got to be beneath no one. This battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. Because of God's grace, you can hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on to whatever broken pieces of the ship. That you, because I'm telling you, you're going to make it to dry land. God is a healer and a deliverer. He's a way maker. Keep praying and trusting and believing and fasting. Use whatever survival tool that you need because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. All storms are not bad, but it can bring you to a change about obedience and discipline. Surviving the storm on broken pieces. It's not over until God says it's over. Praise God in advance. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. What an awesome word we have heard on today amen amen you can survive the storm even if you have to ride in on broken pieces amen 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 sometimes we run into situations where things are broken in our lives amen amen and and, and if we just ride on in amen let God have it amen God will see us through here take us to dry land won't he do it won't he do it won't he do it won't he do it hallelujah hallelujah thank you reverend mitchell amen for allowing god to use you for his glory to encourage the people of god 
Amen. That even as, as you deal with broken pieces, amen, know that God will see you through. Amen. Amen. This morning we ask that you stand all over this building. The doors of the church is open. And we invite you today to come and be a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you are here and you're not saved, I'm speaking to you this morning. Why don't you come and give God your life? Let God mend the brokenness in your life. Let him mend the broken hearts and broken relationships. And uh, God can mend the broken pieces. If you don't know him, you ought to give him a try. How did I make it? His name is Jesus. All the years. How did I make it? The Bible teaches us that he died for our sins. He who was without sin took on the sins of the world and he died that we might have a right to the tree of life. Why wouldn't you serve a God like that? He's the one today. He's the one. How did I make it through the rain? Maybe there's one today that just how I got have started here. out on this journey and it's so easy and in your explain. in the, in your going it was God's you became grace. weary and it was God's your grace. relationship with God is not what it, it used to be God's grace. It was God's but God will grace. restore you today I made it all you got to do is let him know that you need him in your life and you it need his help if you're here why don't you step out on faith God's grace. And ask God to restore you. God's grace. Is there one? God's grace. Is there one? It was God's grace. Well, maybe someone is watching us on YouTube. On Zoom or Facebook. And you're saying, well, preacher, I need a relationship with God. Lord, I thank you. Well, today is your day. For how you bought me. You may be sitting you in your living room, side of your bed. You may be sitting at the kitchen table. Lord, you kept me. But wherever you are today, you never left me. You God wants to save you. By my side. And if you are watching us right now, there were so many times, and you are not saved, when I came so close, you don't have Jesus Christ in your life. Oh man, death! You tried. And you to want to be me. His disciple. I invite you to so pray this prayer with me. Is not hard right me where you sing. are. If and you just bow your so head for me to explain. It was and begin God's to talk grace. to God and say, Dear Jesus, it was God's grace. I am a sinner. It was God's grace. And I need you in my life. Grace. I made it this far. God of sin that comes short of your glory. But I heard through the word of God, of God that you died for my sins. I remember the time. And God, I received that today by faith because away. I need you in my life. Even though I knew the word. Lord, I repent of my sins. Obey. And I submit but my God life to grace you. Grace and mercy stayed with me and bought me. God, thank you for saving me. Away. And as I began this it journey. Was God's grace. God, I pray that you will allow your spirit to fill me, that he will walk with me and talk with me. That I may live a life that is pleasing in your sight. God, I humbly submit this prayer to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And thank you, Jesus, for saving me. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you want to know today, if you prayed that prayer, I'm still standing. If you believe that in your heart, said I made it. This the Bible declared that you're saved. If I said confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God has raised God. Jesus from the dead, thou Look shall here. be saved. Some people say today you ought to lift up your head and Some don't stay where say you are. 
that I wouldn't be here. But if you're not in a church home or going to a church, we ask that you will move out from where you are. Find yourself a church where the word of God is being taught, where people of God is serving God, sit down and, look back. and where you can grow. Down God bless you on this morning. And may heaven smile upon you. So many tears. Amen. Said I made it this far. Made it this far. By, by the, the grace of God. God. Amen. God bless you on this morning. May heaven smile upon you. Uh, this has been an awesome worship today. Amen. Come on and give God some praise. Amen. Amen. And we are preparing to leave this amount of privilege. Uh, Reverend Mitchell is going to come back and she's going to share words and give us the benediction and the blessings of the offering. Amen. And when we exit, we're asking everyone again to exit to my right. Go down the corridor. You will find there the tithe box and the offering plate. That's that you give as God has blessed you. Because you can't beat God giving. Amen. God loves us here for giving. So serve the Lord with gladness. I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed on today, Reverend Mitchell. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Just remember, whatever you're going through, you're going to survive this storm. Amen. And it's not over until God says it's over. Amen. And just remember that we're going to go through some things in life, but with God, everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for allowing us to see this day. We thank you for the word, God. God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, God, we ask you to continue to have your way in our lives. Continue yeah. to shield and protect us, God. Keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger, God. Yeah. Bless our families, God. Bless yeah. the social media. Bless our church family. Bless our pastor. Bless us all, God, one yeah. by one and name by name, God. Yeah. Father, we thank you, God, that if it had not been for you on our side, we would not be here. And, God, we just want to tell you thank you one more time. We thank you for the word, God, that letting us know that, God, that you are right here with us, God. And, God, it's not gonna, it's not over until, God, you say it's over, regardless of what comes or what goes, God, that you're still in charge and you're still in control of our life. We ask you to bless this offering that we're about to receive. God, let it be. Bless this offering we're about to receive, God. Remember all the ones that have and don't have, God. Bless them back 100 fold for the upbuilding of your kingdom, God. We thank you, God, for all that you've done. God and what you're yet still going to do for us God now the peace of the Lord now the now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the Lord be with you all the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and let us sing with the choir oh, 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 